is lasers and uh, fiber optics. Lasers and uh, fiber optics. Now we have started. What is a laser actually? Because um, laser is definitely a special light, light source which uh, brought a revolution in the branch of uh, optics. Because before 1960, before 1960, now whatever the experiments that were, uh, which are, which were related to the light, they used to use ordinary light. But uh, the results were not rich. But after the discovery of uh, the laser in 1960 by T. Maiman, the first laser was discovered by T. Maiman in 1960. Now, after the discovery of this laser, there was a huge revolution in the branch of optics. After that, many experiments which required the light source were replaced with the laser. Right, so that's why why we have to study laser because laser has some special properties as compared to ordinary light. Now, the first, what are the why uh, we have to study laser? How different a laser from an ordinary light? So, if you study the characteristics of laser, already we have studied these characteristics of uh, uh, before the characteristics. Actually, what is a laser? What is the acronym for laser? What is L? What is A? What is S? So, laser is an acronym for light amplification light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation now this is a full form of laser now coming to the characteristics the most important characteristics of laser is directionality. What is directionality? Ordinary light it spreads out in all directions. It has more divergence. We already have discussed it. The second one is monochromaticity. Now, any light having single wavelength or single color is said to be monochromatic light. Laser is monochromatic light, but ordinary light is not monochromatic. It consists of multiple wavelengths, multiple colors. The third one is coherence. What is coherence? You know, ordinary bulb. This is ordinary bulb. The light spreads out in different different directions. There is no relation between this light and this light and this light. The photons which travel in different directions, they don't have any phase relation. They don't have any phase relationship. Whereas the laser light, the, the, the photons that are coming out from this laser light, they follow a particular fashion. They travel in a, uh, in a particular direction. They have a, some they have some phase relation. Now that property, the property of maintaining constant phase relationship is known as coherence. Is known as coherence. The fourth one is intensity. Definitely ordinary light has less intensity, laser light is more intense. Because the, if you directly uh, look into the laser light, so much amount of energy will be flowing into your ear, eye. eye. It's, so it's very dangerous. Whereas if you look into the ordinary light, nothing will happen because ordinary light is less intense. So the amount of energy that is flowing, that is concentrated in some area is known as intensity. So laser light is more intense. Right? So these are the important characteristics of laser. Right? And after this, the next topic. Hmm? Our next topic is interaction of radiation with the matter. Interaction of radiation with the time frame. Interaction of radiation with matter. Now, when the, what happens when radiation is interacted with matter? What happens when light is falling on a material medium? What are the important process that takes place inside? There are three possible processes that takes place. One is absorption. Second one is spontaneous emission. The third one is stimulated emission. Now let us discuss all these three. What is absorption? What is spontaneous emission? What is stimulated emission? Let us discuss briefly. And uh, 
after this we can easily derive the relation among this uh, Einstein coefficients also. Now what is absorption? I consider I consider a material medium. I consider a material medium in which there are two energy levels are present E1 and E2. Right? I consider uh, generally most of the atoms, most of the atoms they try to occupy the ground state. I am giving some external energy. The atoms absorb the energy and will jump into the excited state. Will jump into the excited state. Okay, no? Stop, stop. stop.